Hello, welcome to the channel. I wanted to go through an app today that helps you plan for hiking and other adventures. It's called Geargrams. If this video helps you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification and you will be alerted when new gear reviews or app reviews come out in the future. Thanks a lot. All right, so let's take a look at the Geargrams interface. Ignore all of this information over here for now. Let's just focus on the side list. When you first open Geargrams, you're given immediately what's called a gear library. And if you're familiar with Lighter Pack, you probably know that when you went to make your first list, you probably made some kind of master gear list. Um, all Geargrams does is just start you off with one because it knows you're going to need it. And essentially, the gear library is your master list. This should be every single thing that you ever might want to take with you camping, backpacking, through hiking, whatever. This is your master gear list. You're going to be pulling all of the gear out of here into your individual lists later. So this is where you're going to start. And very simply, you just uh, click the plus button and you type in, this is my new piece of gear. You give it a description. It's very nice. I don't know, whatever. Um, I usually go uh, brand and then model here because I want to be able to sort by brand later. You tell it which category it's in. Is this for campground? Is this for climbing? Is this clothing? Um, if you decide that you want a new category, you just type it. New. All right. And then instantly it assigns it a color and it shows up on the list. You weigh your new gear. It weighs 15 ounces. You can change the way you enter it but be warned, it's not going to automatically convert everything else. If you say that that's grams, notice it doesn't convert for you. It's gonna convert down here, but not in the list. So if that 15 is 15 ounces, you need to make sure that it says ounces. Then you can also indicate, is this item something I am going to be wearing while I am packing, or is it consumable? Is this food or fuel or something like that? Both of these impact base weight, which Geargrams just calls pack weight. I'm going to put this in pounds. There's a difference between the total amount of stuff that I have and what I'm actually packing. And by marking something as consumable or as worn, it pulls it out of your base weight calculation down here and that affects your eventual report. Now, if I decide later I don't really need this thing in here, I can edit this and change it up. But if I decide I don't want it, I can just highlight it and subtract it. Now, if you subtract something out of the gear library, it's gone. It disappears from any list that it was put in. Okay, another way to add gear in is that instead of typing everything and weighing it yourself and trying to figure stuff out, you can go to find gear. And what this does is it looks online for things that other people have put in and you might find the thing that you have and you can just add it in from here. All right, so what do you do with this gear library? Well, you make lists. So here's some other lists that I've made. And really what these are are just pared down versions of the gear library. So for a day hike, I don't bring everything that I own, obviously, on my day hike right now. This is my setup that I like to bring. And this, this makes it nice as a little checklist that you can use while you're packing. And it also gives you some idea of how much you're carrying, what is your total. If you want to see this visually, you click down here on report based on your categories of how much you're carrying in each category. And then each category is broken out below so that you can see exactly where that weight came from. If you want to go back to list, you click list and then you're back here. Now, how do you create these lists? Well, let's make a new one. So if I'm in lists, I can click plus and that gives me a new list. And I'm going to make this new list. Okay, the new list is empty. There's nothing in here. So what I do is I go back to my gear library and I start dragging things over. So let's say that this new list, I'm going to be bringing this backpack. So I can highlight it and drag it into the list. And now when I click new list, that backpack is there. Now these two are linked. That item and that item are the same item. So let's say I change my description to trail pack. When I go back to my gear library, it's changed there too. So these items don't change when you put them in a different list. It's still the same item. So if I change something there, it changes here. It's the same item. So wherever you update things, they change. 
Okay, now one thing I will point out, um, on my computers, and I've used different computers for this, GearGrams glitches fairly regularly by somehow dropping in more than one item. So I often have to go in and subtract. Now this says delete selected items, don't panic. Um, nothing gets deleted from the gear library unless you're in the gear library and you delete it. So if I delete this right now, it's gone. That item no longer exists according to GearGrams. If I delete something from a list, that just means it's not on the list anymore. Once your list is correct, you now have the ability to sort. I can see what my heaviest stuff is, what my lightest stuff is. I can see how my categories are working out. What am I bringing with me? I can sort by name, I can sort by brand, whatever. I can go down here and click report and get a nice pretty report. If you click on this share button, what this does is it automatically generates a link that you can go to. So I can put this link on a YouTube channel, my website. If you're actually writing your website, you can just dump that into the HTML. Essentially what this does is it, is it gives a way for people to publicly see your list without being able to modify it or mess it up in any way. So I can show people exactly what gear I have. If I included a link to a specific piece of gear, then that item in the online report would be hyperlinked so somebody could actually click on this and it would take them to the Sunday Ultra Adventure Storm Amazon page or the brand page or wherever I want. And so that's a fun way to share your information. And if you decide, like maybe this is just a one-time list, you're back from this trip, you're not interested in keeping it, you can just go down here to minus and it will delete the list. Just a couple little extra features. Um, if you highlight a bunch of equipment at once, GearGrams will auto-generate a little mini report down here on just the things you've highlighted. This can be really handy when you're trying to figure out different things that you want to bring. So let's say I want a fleece and a rain jacket. Okay, if I take these two, it's going to cost me 1.47 pounds. But if I instead bring these two items, I'll be at 1.9 pounds. So I can get some quick reports very easily this way. Function-wise, it can actually do some pretty powerful things that Lighter Pack can't do. If you already use Lighter Pack, not a bad idea to go over to Share and export your data to a CSV and then import it to GearGrams. That way, number one, you're not having to type all this stuff over again. Number two, you'll make sure that your data matches exactly. And if you started with GearGrams and you want to try out Lighter Pack, you can export or download the CSV file and then import it right here on Lighter Pack. I have had uh, trouble importing CSVs from Lighter Pack if they were not a CSV that Lighter Pack itself exported. So what I finally had to do was I exported a CSV from Lighter Pack that only had like one item in it. Then I exported the CSV from GearGrams, opened it, manually copied all the information out, pasted it into the CSV that Lighter Pack created, and then imported it right back and it had all of the data, or at least all of the data that had matching descriptions. I hope this has helped. If it has, please consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a like, and click that bell notification for future videos if you want to be alerted when they drop.